Hello, I'm Damian Lash from Parallel North, Lake Charlotte Boy News. Bringing you a sit down with Matt G. He's going to talk about this Saturday's MMA fights in East Jordan at the Civic Center. Matt, thanks for coming on the show. Man. Thanks for having me. So, what's been the latest since the last time I had you on the program? Well, we finally got our, our fight team legitimized. We're training hard. We got lots of fights coming up. You know, Dean Fish. Okay. He's just taking it right now. Yeah, like I said, man, every time I see that guy's pictures up on Facebook or whatever, he's just looking ripped steel, man, looking like an animal. Oh, yeah. Um, he must be training like, you know, he's always trained hard. Glad to have him, for sure. Yeah, he definitely represents out there. Um, so, you guys got a DBA. You yep. guys are legitimate business. Legitimate, here. yep. And Ready to go. On fight team. Yep. Nice. For now, sure. how long have you guys been a team? Oh, well, exactly. Been, uh, me, Brad, and Dean, I mean, like legitimately a team? Like yeah, I mean, I just, you know, as, as a team, you know? It's been a couple of years now? Two years, two yeah. Two years, two okay. years. I mean, we've known each other for, well, since we were kids. Right, right. So, well, how many, a couple of years now, well, how many how many fights have you had in the in the ring now? I've, I've been in a cage two times. Two times. I know you had a couple backouts. Yeah, oh yeah. I had a few backouts, actually. Yeah, I, I know that from, you know, having you on, you've had a, had a few. Now, the last time you guys were supposed to have you represent, you had a little hiccup. Oh, what happened about that? Had a couple little, uh, yeah, had some paperwork errors, you know, like yeah. the court overlooked, and yeah, I got arrested. Yeah, I know. It's, I mean, I, it's what I, I mean. The word on the, the word on the street was, that, you know, contraband, and I'm, you know, I'm thinking in the back of my mind, how, what do you, you know, what do you got to have, you know, a bazooka or something? If you have contraband in an MMA fight, I mean, obviously a gun or a knife isn't cool, but. Really anywhere, aggressive style, but that was that was a terrible rumor. I mean, kid friendly event, Matthew Gregoire had contraband. That's you know, it, it uh, it's awful. almost a little bit too cliche, you know. Right. I mean, but yeah. so anyway, so you get arrested for that. So so somebody well, obviously somebody must have sold you out on a oh, false rumor for, or something. Yeah, we had no question in my mind. Somebody called, but. It was. It was just a paperwork error. You know, I was out Monday. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, it was. It turned out one quick, quickly. Uh, so anyway, now that's down behind you. We all got. We all know what it is now. So moving on with everything. Let's fast forward to Saturday. Who are you taking on? Uh, Jesse Kimberlin. Jesse Kimberlin. Now he's, he's... on two, 155. Okay. That's all you know about the guy? That's all I know about the okay. guy. Okay. All right. All Not right. For video, he's a mystery man. Well, I guess that's probably a, a good thing on you know his part. To keep it a mystery, to show up in the cage and, and get it done. Yep, I'll be there. So yeah, how hard have you been training? Been training hard. You know, I can't work with the team much because of our jobs, our schedules. You know. So where where you guys been? Where you guys been training? Well, I I personally been I've been uh, hitting Hart's gym up here in Boynton City. Okay, yeah, I hear a lot of good things about Hart. Todd, Todd Hart is awesome. You know, for now he's got some background years. credentials, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, oh yeah, for 40 years of martial arts. He lived in Okinawa. Okay, he was a champion, karate champion over there. Story goes. Nice. So, okay. Well, cool. Yeah, I've been down in the gym. It looks looks like a it looks like a fun place to kind of hang around there. One, one of those gyms you can go to and you don't necessarily have to work out to get trained. Yeah. Well, it looks like it's a for some professionals that need to get you know use some of the equipment or the mat time. Yep. Definitely. Well, that's great. So let me ask you this question real quick here. So you brought some props with you. You train with these things. You train with with that respirator on. This is what I have every day on me, pretty much. Is no, I've seen you riding your bike with that, haven't I? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I ride my bike. I do Let's daily like chores. That. I do anything that involves breathing. I daily use it. chores. Anything. Now this is supposed to give you a, a little better respiratory. Yep, it's like taking everyday activities and moving to the Appalachian Mountains. Ha. <laughs> okay. That's exactly what I mean. It puts force on your lungs, makes you breathe more. You got to work. Work harder for the oxygen you get. In. Right, and that helps you kind of be prepared for that, um, you know, that what, you know, third round, you know, right. whatever, you know. Not the, only first round. Yeah, you know, sure. You go in there swinging out the fences. How tanked are you before you get in the ring? I'm pretty amped. You're pretty, pretty yeah, amped. Oh yeah, every, everything's one straight, you know. Okay. I'm getting in there. So you're not, you don't, you don't feel like a little, <sighs> Well, you know, once once your hands taped, it's reality. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, I guess that would be kind of almost ceremonial, like you know, yeah. getting yourself in the zone, yeah. getting ready. My rush comes everything. from when that door locks, and out of all the people in the stands, I swear, you ask any fighter, you can hear that cage locked. Yeah, I guess you know the 
the reality of it. I guess it's you know, really, good time. I mean, you can't really do much about it at that particular it's just point. You and him. You know, okay. you know, and the best thing about the MMA, you know, one of the best things, there's, there's lots of perks, there's lots of, you know, do's and don'ts of any sport, you know, but the best, you know, it's the fact that we're allowed to fight, we don't have to worry about anything afterwards, you know, nobody jumping on us, no, no, you know, it's legal, it's, it's a sport now. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, at the end of the day, if you want to compete in the game, you know, you should, I mean, like, like I, you know, like anything, there's rules that should be followed. Right, um, for sure. Do people do it? I don't know. You know, the human factor is a whole other story, another sit down. <laughs> exactly. But uh, anyway, so you're going to be there on Saturday, looking to be on the card, stay on the card. Who else is representing from you know friends and family? We have Brad Turnbull, 125, representing, and we're actually debuting our first heavyweight. In friends and family. Yeah. yeah, now there's a yeah. Now that's nice to see the heavy guys. You know, yeah. what kind of shape is he in? What's he weighing in at? He's two sixteen. He'll probably weigh in a little less. But he's two sixteen right now. He's, he's and who's the fighter if you don't mind? Stephen Cahoon. All right. Okay. He is ready to bang. He's been more. He's been amped. And this will be his first fight. First fight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess he's probably should be pretty excited for oh, that. He's, and it looks like he's got a great venue to come in. The last place was almost you know. I'd have to say it was arguably pretty much sold out. Oh yeah, I mean, much. I mean, people were standing. I mean, it was standing room only. I mean, I guess you could have maybe sardine packed them a little tighter, but right. you know, at the end of the day, you you can only fit so many people in there, and you know, well done on that. You know, for sure, Conrad Lauks, man, awesome. Yep, yeah, awesome. great job. And the community supported a good cause. You know, we got on board with it here in yeah. Parallel North, and I'm looking forward to doing it again. So, now that that's been been said, how about this one? How do you like being in the MMA game, and do you plan on doing anything more with MMA? Well, I'm friends and family's here for uh, for life. Okay. We're we're gonna be in it. I mean, Dean Dean's just taking fights left and right. He, so I mean, it seems like Dean doesn't participate in some of these local fights. Well, the local because usually when the local fights are on, Dean's already got one. You know, it's always a week after. Okay. Or a week before. Yeah, I see know. that. Now, what do you guys? I mean, I I was kind of curious now. Now, is this fight close to the last fight? I mean, how long do you guys normally take off? Is there a rule of thumb? Is there a mandatory, well, mandatory? Not, not really. It depends on how much damage you take for the So, I mean, you could fight every night? Yeah, you could fight every other week, at least. You know, you still need to give yourself a week, at least. But Dean, Dean's been staying strong. He's been training for this. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying anything about that. I mean, there's no question about it. I, I think he could probably do it, you know, every other night. So oh, he stayed healthy. Oh, yeah. I mean, anybody can. Yeah, you're right. You know, once you guys get yourself in that, you know, you know, basically in shape, fighting shape, I mean, time off is probably the worst nightmare you could have. Right. You know, so you guys looking at doing any of, any of your own personal events? Or? No, we haven't really. You know, we just now we got legitimate. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying. You know, we, can, we, can we like book a wedding with MMA entertainment? I mean, yeah, are you guys willing to scrap each yeah. other? Or, you know, We're always ready to fight. You know, okay. we, we scrap each other on the day. Well, that's it's what I mean. Exposition. You know, exposition, you know, as I say. It's an old thing for us to put on the gloves. And that's the... cool. Yeah, I, you know, like I said, I got welcomed into the rat hole. That was really cool. Right. And, and uh, I you know, appreciate that. That was a real fun experience to, to do. Oh, yeah. You guys, that was um, awesome. Yeah, you, you guys um, got getting plan on getting any uh, more people on the team? Any, any other women well, or you know, we, kids? We do, kids? actually. We, we do have two potential female fighters. Going to represent friends and family for the years up, definitely. Okay, nice. I'm I'm excited about that because these girls are they're 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 going to be tough. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I see that they're, they're you know they are they are trying to get some females involved in this. The ones that, that do um, partake seem to have kids, a good kids. I mean, yeah, they seem to have a good you know following. People are excited for it too. It does look like there's a whole lot of you know like in a lot of sports. You know, the girls team don't seem to get the, you know, fan participation as much as the boys for whatever reason. And that's, that's you know, the I reason mean, I'm, I'm not making it up. Too, just saying. You know, it's just for the people. Yeah, you know, and I like how you guys filtered it, blended in, take advantage of, of that, and, you know, and they, and they can be kind of, you know, co-ed like on the card. That's cool. And our club, we like to get back, too. You know, we, we've actually fought for breast cancer, you know. We yeah. Did, we did the pink out yep. by the streeters, and, you know. Yeah, there's a lot, you know, that's kind of like the biker type thing, you know, there's, you know, everybody's got their own stereotype of what it's all about, you know, that's MMA thing, but, 
at least the MMA around here has been doing very, very charitable to go to a lot of things. You know, oh yeah. Which I think people, I think the more people know about that, the more they'd be interested. I mean, we all donate to something, you know, some form of a cause, and this is entertainment with it. Um, a lot of these guys train hard. Everybody shows great sportsmanship, which is something you don't see much anymore. Man, man, respect for each other. You, you know, oh, you know, outstanding. It's the you, you, I don't know, you're just grateful how much respect you get from fighting somebody. Well, right? you got to share a moment. There's, there's, there's no question about that. Yeah. I mean, anybody who's ever been in even a scuffle with somebody, you know, it's in a weird way. You kind some of, of the guys kind of in relation, a bond in some wacky form, you know. It's, the guys I've fought, I've actually talked to more, <laughs> you know, than some of my teammates about things. You know, Maybe it's, it's like, kind of hey, like the dogs know. in the park, you know, they right. were in a huge dog fight a few minutes ago, and now they're, you know, running miles together and hanging out, and, you know, the guys for life. The second time, you know, I lost, but every time I see, we see each other, we're like best friends. That's you know? cool. Letting it all hang out. So what do you think of Conrad's program? You know, the, how do you like the catering and the, you know, the, you guys have enough security on staff? I mean, look good. See, you know, the security comes. Conrad, Conrad covers every aspect. Yeah, he did. I mean, he's he's on his game. You know. Yeah, it felt friendly in there. I mean, I got to be honest. I mean, he had lots he of kids. He greets. He, you know, he doesn't. You know, like some promoters kind of stay away from the people. Nice. Conrad likes people. You know, he, he's a he's a good promoter. Definitely, good. he does his best to match us up. I mean, there's nothing bad to say about the guy. Yeah, he seemed to be right in the right in the game there. I've, I've had a pleasure, you know, talking with him and meeting him. Well, there you have it from Matt G. Hopefully we cleared up the rumors. Hopefully you're ready to see some MMA fighting on Saturday the 13th over at the East Jordan Civic Center. Um, I'm David Doors Leish. open at 7? Or fights are at, uh, yeah, doors open at 7, fights are at 8. Yeah, there you go. Make sure we got the Friends of the MMA show on Facebook. Yeah, thank Check you. Check out the fights, the videos, hit us up. Yeah, for sure. You can always stay tuned with us on social media. We're covering most platforms. And uh, once again, that is this Saturday at the East Jordan Civic Center. Friends and family will be there. Soulfly MMA. Come on out and support a good thing. It's always fun. Thank you for joining.